Uh, this poem is in the voice of an Iraqi woman, an Iranian woman, a Saudi woman, a Sudanese woman. It's called Dark Burqa. Dark Burqa hides my body in black. I am the color of night during moon or sun's light. Dark burqa, I scream when I dream, my lips sealed, tongue silenced by the men who write my life. Dark burqa, I shall rip you, shred you, throw your blackness on their thrones. I shall spit on the faces of those who make me kneel and steal their hearts by loving my might. Dark burqa, I don't wear the shadow of my mother's tears. I don't listen to her cries or sacrifice my breath to pacify the kings who cut my clitoris, sold my labia so I won't feel the thunder of orgasmic storms. Dark burqa, I shall burn the cloth that shields my blood and keeps my skin arid and untouched. Dark burqa, I will dye you red and wear the color of fire. When they come for me, throw stones, cut my bones, I shall tear the dark burqa, spread my legs, command them to their knees. They shall eat between my lips, suck and swallow my juice, the sweet justice of my cum. Dark burqa, I shall be naked. And should they harness my body and keep my hair on the veils in this prison of cloth, Oh, dark burqa, he who tries will feel the wrath of my onyx eyes. <laughs> Last poem is called Beyond. You say I'm white, a Jew, Argentinian, Hispanic, Latina, Chiquita Banana, no way. I searched for the real me before dad, mom, and country got me, before earth held me, between birth and death, the real me that ceased to be freed. I was thrashing in the wound, ready to roll. I was swallowing her blood before the ninth month bolted me from her flesh, ready for revelations, experience, and breath. <clears throat> the bullshit of my birth brainwashing began. Tooth fairy came before anyone else. The tooth dropped and I got a dime. Not a why it left me or a reason it fell. And then the Christian girl telling me to leave room on the right side of my bed for the Jesus who was dead. And to the left is the devil, I suppose, which leads me in the middle. And then came the small tree with gifts under its leaves. January 6th, day of the Magi. Little did I know till I arrived in the States, my grandparents were Russian and Polish and I was a Jew. Hey, this was new. And how did I learn this? My brothers were 13 and bar mitzvahs being planned, and I was confused. From the Magi's gifts to Hebrew schools? My brothers learned to be men, and I was left out once again. They never mentioned gods, gods or dogs, or reasons why we might be born, so I believe what they said, having no mind to judge what's alive or dead, asking no questions, losing no sleep over what's shallow or deep. Free I was and didn't know till I landed in the States, white beating black and black beating white and I was one of the beaten not knowing why. I went home crying. These bio parents blamed me, said I shouldn't be with other people, not my own. Screamed at me till I was numb. After being beaten by these girls, taught to hate, thinking color was a key to their identity. My blood is red because nature said, my skin is missing darkness because I have no pigment. I have no history beyond my own search. It's all gone, done delivered back to the makers and the senders of this body, to this land. I stand on my own soul, the only reason I am whole. You decide if color, nationality, or religion will be your key. But as for me, peel the layers and find the core that changes every day. Because I am defined by nothing, not boxed or archetyped. I speak for the unmentioned in the land of the gray, in the planet of the shadow, beyond meaning or analysis outside books, formulas, and conclusions. I live in the unknown, where every day is a new birth. Come find me. I welcome the hunt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.